Hello everyone, I'm Robert Brock, Prairie's Cafe TV show host. I'm here with the one and only Mr. Lonnie Hunter of the Lonnie Hunter Show. Sure, he's so smooth. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe it? Look, y'all hear him speaking. He's the one that's smooth. That's it. How you doing, sir. man? You alright? Yes, sir. Thank Good. you so much for taking time out to speak with us today. Tell everybody where we are. Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm telling you, it's going to be off the chain. McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour 2015. It's been crazy, man. Wow. This whole tour has been crazy. Now, are you singing? Or are you I am. Last year we were here and I was just hosting. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we got a new project out that just dropped last week. Mm -hmm. And so I'm singing and hosting, kind of wow. pulling double duty. Wow, so how, how different is that from last year, this year, other than the fact that you're singing? And uh, it's person. exhausting, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's all good, to God be the glory. Absolutely. I'm not mad. I didn't know that you sung. Now, tell us the name of your album. The new project is called Get It Done. If you've been listening to the Lonnie Hunter Show, you know that's been my mantra for the last two years. This is part two of that goal-setting um, campaign for me. And the CD came out, it's Get It Done. Third most downloaded CD on iTunes, and I'm so excited about that because we've, we've only been out for since the 19th of May. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Now, what single is out now? The single is "Forever I Will." That's what you've been hearing on the radio. Uh, we'll be doing another uh, song from the CD tonight called um, "He's Worthy." Since we open the show, it's kind of a big, you know, energy kind of song. Okay, yeah. cool. Now. I know you do the radio show hosting. You, you've sung before you did the radio hosting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why weren't you singing before you did the radio hosting? Or how did that come about? Well, my mom, um, she was the one that got me into church and all of that. Uh, she passed when I was nine years old. But she used to do background with the caravan. Ah, I would wow. walk as my godmother. So it was that kind of connection. Uh, so I was singing long before I knew, even knew anything about radio. And actually, before I started radio, I'd already done two projects. Wow. Yeah, okay. with the Voices of St. Mark. Got it. Okay, now you said the caravans, Albertina Walker. Mm -hmm. So that means you can sing for real, right? She can sing for real. <laughs> that was, she was doing the background, not me. I wasn't old enough. <laughs> now, I'm just saying, if you grew up listening to those ladies, yeah. they, and then those you know are like pioneers, it. and that's when you had to know how to sing Absolutely. without music or, you know, no piano, track. No all that. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. I love the caravans. Uh, favorite caravan song? Oh, Sweeping Through the City. Okay. It's got to be Sweeping Through the City. Got yeah. it. Okay. Or Mary Don't You Weep. Got it. Another great one, too. Um, now, as far as your overall album, what can people expect from that? It's a transitional album. Uh, it's a transitional CD. It'll take you seamlessly almost from Sunday morning service to an outdoor concert or a midnight musical. There's songs on there for your praise and worship team okay. or if you our choir dude like I am, you know, there's stuff for that. Me too. There's also a love song on there for weddings. Okay. Uh, yeah, called In Your Face. So it, it's a lot on there to appeal to the masses. Okay. Now tell us a little bit about Delaney Hunter Radio Show. How did that come about? It actually started as a two hour show in Chicago. I broke it two hours for on Saturday nights just to be doing something. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main station, WGCI, heard that show and asked me would I come. And I ended up doing the morning drive time there for about 10 years before I moved to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Got it. When I moved to New Jersey, there was no Radio 1 station there. Uh, so I moved to New Jersey to be the minister of music at the church. I'm at Bethany Baptist Church. And um, Elroy Smith got hired to be the program director in Philadelphia when they opened Radio 1. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, Elroy Smith was my boss in Chicago when I was in Chicago. Wow. And that's how that connection got, okay, got well, put together. Okay, got a minute to be. Okay, wow. The, speaking of the radio show, you have this catchphrase that you always do. What is that? It's a couple of them. I got to go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my good way of getting off the phone. You're going too long. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I was like, God. Yeah. yeah. And everybody says that when they come on. And you do your your contest that you normally do with the people, and you call they you give them specific uh, mm -hmm. topics. Clues and, they, and categories. They, right. That, and then you also get different uh, topics that you ask the people about. With that being said, the questions that you've asked and the people's responses. What do you think is the church's greatest challenge today? as far as churches are concerned in, in pulling the people in like they used to? I think the church's greatest challenge is to come out of the church. You know, it's very easy to be church inside of church because that's safe church. But uh, you have to be able to go out and be able to meet people where they are, 
uh, just put down your walls and never act like you've never made a mistake because people need to be you know, heard from or heard by somebody who's real, who's gone through, so that you can bring them through. We never go through just to go through. We go through to bring somebody else out. Right, absolutely. Okay, but why do you think people, when you when you kind of make people look at themselves, look at the truth, why do you think you get such... Negative feedback, well not yeah. negative, but small, small. Because small small it's hard to look at yourself. It's hard to self-check. Um, no matter what it is, it's easier to see somebody else's pain, it's easier to judge somebody else's pain or their situation. But when you have to look at yourself and be real about yourself, that's that's an introverted kind of thing. Got so you it. don't really reach out to do anything with in front of the public Got as far as what you're thinking Got it. Got it. So you let, you let people have fun, you play music and you yeah. also minister as a sign up to, Absolutely. People, to, yeah. to empower people. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. God bless you, thank man. Thank you for interviewing with us and thank you for tuning in. I'll let you stay Closing words to our audience. Be safe and get it done.